All right, uh, so apparently all of those items, all of those cases that weren't going to, uh, open for me, uh, well, I've scanned them now, and now they're doubly not gonna open for me. There's nothing. So, I, I'm totally itemless. Oh, wait. We have one chance of getting something here. All right, and it's locked. And we try punching it. You know... <sighs> This is going to be impossible. Okay. If I had a bypass, I'd be happy. Ah, so close. And we're losing it. We're back out. I'm not entirely sure... ...if security will actually come, though. And we lost it. Damn it. Alright, whatever. I'm, I'm no good at those. I will... Probably never be good at those, admittedly. So we're just going to... We're just going to go with the stuff that... Nah, I, why are they all... Why do they all have this shitty minigame? Like... I'd be down for it... If it had, like, a little bit larger of a ring or something. Like, why are they all hard? It also lags while we're trying to do this... Which makes it even harder. Ah. And we're back to square one. Security alerted. And we lost it. Damn it. Uh, yeah, the hacking system, it's awful. <laughs> it truly is. I really hope they fix it up, though. Honestly, I think I get a perk at some point uh, that actually makes it so we can hack things a little bit more easily. All right, so we are pretty much completely devoid of resources here, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Yeah, hopefully they, uh... Yeah, I might actually have to turn on some music here. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to do that, though. It's like, we're we're running around in pure silence. Oh, holy crap. Okay, so you know how I've been over... ...hacking those? Uh, those, like, lock-picking boxes, they do actually, they do actually summon, uh, it's totally frozen, by the way. Uh, they summon security drones. That's... scary. Okay, so I think, I think I might, uh, leave lock-picking alone until I can get some, uh, until I can get some perks that actually, you know, facilitate me not getting totally screwed. Yeah, so it summons security mechs. And that's scary. No, is that another one over there, or is that a light? No, that's an, another security mech just hanging out around there. Hopefully it leaves. Okay, there you go. Yeah, get out of here, because I don't want to deal with your nonsense. Okay. Oh, balls. Have a safe and productive day. Don't come back. Don't come back. Just leave. Stop wandering. I need to go that direction. Are they still out there? Yeah, they're still out there. Alright. Screw it. Now that we've figured out this is a bad idea, let's see what happens if I just stand in front of one of these guys. Here, Mr. Robot. Can I... Be sure to report any unsanctioned activities. Wait, really? The robots don't give a damn about me. Huh. Well, that's actually kind of handy. And so as long as we don't try lockpicking anything in front of them, we're probably golden. Okay, cool. I'm just I'm just going to accept that the murder robots are uh, slightly less murder. Awesome. So yes, this game will freeze occasionally for me, but if we just give it some time, it'll come back. Alright, so, big problem is, we're still super destitute, and we have no resources, and we're hungry. So, that's a problem. But at least we're not- we don't have murder robots after us. We just have murder zombies. Those are the best. Okay, so I'm not- I'm not finding anything here, and we're starting to run out of food, so I should probably just, uh... Please present credentials. Uh, 
Scan nominal. Hey, did you hear that? We're nominal, guys. I assume that means we're not in trouble. Yeah, so what's this game about? Zombie apocalypse. Alright, is there anything fancy over here? We're looking for... we're looking for goods. Goodies, edibles, thirstables. I'm... I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. There's no... there's nothing. First time we came through here, resources were plen plentiful. This time around, we ain't got shit. And it's frozen skin. Okay, there we go. Uh, sort of. Okay, so that's locked. We really need some kind of lock picking bonus before I'm gonna mess with those, though. Hello, not functional zombies. Okay, you are starving. So here's the question. Please oh. present credentials. Have you remembered to take your the sun rises and the cyanotrope begins uh, to glow faint blue. I'm reminded that we've already heard this one. Okay, or at least I have. So here's the question. Did he beat the shit out of the zombie down this direction? Oh. Please present credentials. Huh. You think the robots would remember and also like leave at some point? Well, maybe summoning security actually works out in my favor. Or maybe it doesn't. There's nothing here. Okay, well let's just keep exploring around. There's gotta be there's gotta be a loot box with a little bit of food in it. Yeah, the ro the many security robots that we've summoned on top of our heads uh, might have actually killed off the zombie. Nope. It didn't. Well... Harming this warrant placed on citizen for arrest. Initiating pacification protocol. No! No! Mr. Robot, I was just standing nearby! <laughs> okay. Now what? I was just watching you beat the shit out of uh, that other zombie. I'm innocent, I swear. Can I open this door? I can. Okay, we can get out of here. Maybe. Are they following me? I have no idea if they're following me. I might starve to death. I, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't have a plan here. This game is dark. Is that telling me that I'm... Yeah, I'm about to starve to death. Unfortunately, we kind of needed to loot that zombie. Because he probably had snacks on him. Instead, we're gonna starve to death because I summoned a bunch of robots trying to figure out how to how to lockpick. That's not a good sign. Well, worse things have happened, I guess. Uh, do we go down here? The problem is it's so dark; it's impossible to tell like where anything is. I'll I'll just make it as far as I possibly can before we die. I don't think I can get down there. I'm wondering if I uh if I can get any extra points for this. <laughs> What is this? It's like a swooshy thing. Oh wait, lights? Okay. Scary robots. Okay. Those aren't snacks. What are you? Will you kill me? If I walk in front of you. Nope. So it looks like the robots kind of just don't give a shit about me. Or maybe they do. I'm not entirely sure. Come on, trash can. Have some food. Dang it! I'm gonna starve to death because there's just nothing here for me. Alright, random lockbox. What about you? Lock. Random lockbox has nothing in it. Um... Yay! Starvation! My favorite time of the everything. Alright, what about you? 
Because I know I can do, um... Yeah, your vitals are critical. I'm prepared for death. I wonder if I should have actually just punched one of the robots. Here, you. I'm gonna slug the shit out of you. You have perished. Well, that didn't work out. <laughs> Alright, do I have any GP level from it? The answer is, I didn't- I don't think I earned anything from that, but reawakening is a fine thing, because that should reset, uh, resource- resource counts and whatnot, and hopefully- hopefully we'll be okay the second time around. I don't know, that- that- that run was kind of screwed from the start, because I loaded it up, couldn't open up any boxes, then I opened it up again to get a good screenshot, but I couldn't get- get one, because it's dark. Uh, do I have any points? No. Ah, but I did want to look at something. Alright, so we have enhanced vigor, max health, trauma, mitig trauma mitigation, health return on damage, engineering. Ah, hacking. Wow, that really does not actually help nearly as much as you think it would. Uh, hypertrophic musculature, melee force, resonant damage, food consumption, water consumption, health regen, damage reduction, recoil, footstep sound, and rare loot find. Okay, so these are... Pretty moot. Uh, so let's just do respawn menu. And everything's still locked for the time being. Maybe I have to get to the... Arcadia Tower before I can do anything. So I guess let's just spawn in here and hope for the best. Okay. I don't know why, but I suddenly feel like I desperately need a haircut. I probably do actually need a haircut. Oh, I'll get one after Nakakon. Alright, um... What? Why can I not move? I can't... Oh. Well, this is... <laughs> Ew. You're not kidding me, are you? Are you... Are you... Really? Wow. Good bug. Um, I, okay, I might actually have to like force quit out of the game for this one. Is there a way to reset this there? Oh, let's try, let's try crouching. Nope, can't crouch. I can't walk, I can't crouch, I can't get any stamina back. Uh, I guess I got to ult F4. Oh, I don't want to do that. Alright, let's Alt F4 out, see if that works. Uh, if this doesn't work... Uh, okay, so here's the problem, this game takes like a... Like, a long time to load. If it takes as long as I think it does to load, or as, as it will to load, I'm just gonna go play something else. We'll come back to this after this weekend and hopefully it doesn't just... I actually am gonna have to Task Manager close this. Wow, this is bad. Um... This is not how you release an early access game, everyone. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm I'm down with the visuals, the gameplay seems great. It's just, uh... You, this is, you really do not want these bugs... ...in your, your launch candidate. Not in the slightest. Alright, we're back and I can move and that's a good sign. Okay, so we don't want to sprint, I forgot that messes with our... Uh... That messes with our stamina. Okay, so... Locked. Not... <sighs> okay, I give up. I, I, I'm too tired for this. I play this game in the mornings and it's not a good sign. This... Hacking minigame, at some point we'll either get bypasses or... Or there's like a skill we can get, but right now it's just not worth my time or energy. Like I'd rather not spend this entire series 
standing in front of that, uh, in front of that box. Scanning and just... Well, not scanning, trying to lockpick it open. Plus, we now know that security does come after a while, but mainly, I just, it's not worth my time. Hopefully they learn and fix it, and I punched money. I, I'm not a smart pickle when I want to be. <laughs> uh, I'm tired, but that's okay. At least I'm not nearly as spookled as I was last time. So that's actually kind of hugely useful because we can make th make it through this without spending nearly as much time uh, stuck or lost or confused. We're still going to be lost and rather confused. Hello, what's that? Warden's Fist. Okay. HDM creates a potent holographic mace around the user's fist. Ooh. And an inventory upgrade. It actually seems kind of halfway productive to um, die and start over a bunch. Okay, so we want to... We want to equip that. We want to... Oh! My inventory slots did get reset. Okay, so I have to aim and fire weapons to get it to get it to work. All right, that's understandable. So I've got I've got like a crazy punching fist. Should be able to clobber our way through uh through infected a little bit easier now, which is nice. We're gonna have a lot of money here. Survivability, man. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, it is nice to see that, that the items are kind of randomly generated, so we're not just going to be going through this exact same experience every single time. I... I don't dislike this game, but uh, it's kind of a rough start, especially with all the performance issues. So, any amount of, like, kind of change that we can get uh, is nice. How did I... Yeah, this is the one I spawned from. Okay. Every time I see these people standing around, it bothers me, but there's some pretty nice audio cues for when you've actually got, uh, infected nearby. Which is helpful. Okay. Anything in you? Ah, it's locked. Whatever. We'll be fine. I know- I know I could probably figure out and master the hacking system, it's just- it's not worth my time. Or energy, or brain power, or whatever. They'll- They'll probably change it. I, I can't imagine that uh, people aren't complaining about it to some degree. Now, I guess the one thing I could do uh, is freeze the game momentarily. Or permanently. I see the spinning wheel of death. That's concerning. Um, and I'm three minutes in. Uh, the one thing I could actually do is summon a bunch of security bots. It's just, obviously, the last time we did that, bad things happened. Uh, sort of, they, for whatever reason, decided I was infected too, which was an issue. That's something we kind of don't want to have happen. Okay, like, I, ideally I'd like to not have security mechs just trying to come after me constantly. I'm surprised this area isn't crawling with them to begin with, but maybe whatever, whatever crazy disaster happened in this place, uh, happened decently long ago, so until somebody, like, woke up and started hacking things left and right, there's really not a whole lot of reason for security mechs to be around. Ooh. I don't know what that is. At least, uh, interactable objects are fairly glowy, which is kind of nice. I'm also really glad that our scanner doesn't require, like, power or something. Oh, I hate it when games do that. Alright. Yeah, so we have significantly less than we did along the way, but you know what? I'm fine with it. We're in a fine spot. I wish it would actually, those data terminals wouldn't light up unless they actually had something for me. Okay, so we got possibly booze, a Nutri Cube, so that's probably food related. Yeah, well, we actually have loot and resources that we can grab along the way here. That's kind of nice. Uh, an ion- oh, ion core! I use those for making a base, actually. 
Well, ain't that fancy. Okay. So there's no... The first infected's usually up ahead. We're doing fine. And again, I can slug him. Especially if I'm, like, well-fed and stuff like that. Uh, we should be able to just heal automatically. I wonder if the reason why it freezes... Uh, game crashed. Like, game legit crashed there as opposed to just froze. Well, that's annoying. Alright. Five minutes. Okay, there we go. I... Huh. Okay, so we're back a little bit. Uh, let's see, is there... Still that thing over here? There's like... A thing. Huh. Nope. Okay. I don't know what's going on. The game crashed and we're back here. <sighs> right. Can't sprint. It's one thing I don't like about this game. It's very, very sluggish. Okay, well, we can get the firehouse whiskey. We can get the Nutri Cube. And I think we can get that ion core over here. Assuming it had it hasn't despawned. Let's just hope it doesn't crash again on me. Oh. Ion core plus. It's probably the same thing, I just I don't know. Well, uh I wonder if that's always there to prep you for making a base somewhere. I don't know where I'd want to make a base, considering everywhere around here just seems to be dark and dreary and largely inaccessible. It'd be really nice... Oh, there... Uh, well, that's about as use, useful as you can ask for. I was like, I wonder if there's a map function. And there is, and it's worthless. At least for the time being. Okay, game, don't crash on me. I got footage to film. And it's one of those where I've got a convention... Um, I'm going to Nakacon in Kansas, uh, Kansas City today, and it should be fun. Uh, mainly I'm just there to support Shell and what she's doing, uh, just because she's the one actually selling stuff there, but, uh, let's see. So we have a vanishing shield. Okay. So now I have the ability, now I have the ability to block if I want to. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Okay, gotcha. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna be at that, and it's one of those where if this game just doesn't want to behave, then it's one of those where after a certain point you just kind of have to... Oh. You just kind of have to hang it up and be like, alright, well, you're not gonna work on me, so... I guess I'll just be back to you in a while. I don't want that to happen, though. I actually do want... want to play, like, a survival horror -y game for once. <laughs> Okay, so let's block. They scare the shit out of me whenever they show up. Uh... I need my flashlight out. Oh, yeah. We don't have our flashlight. Okay, so we took some hits there. Not many, and if we're lucky, we should have, uh... Some health. Okay. So, she had armor on her. I'm gonna examine this. That apparently does nothing. Okay. Yeah, it's a chest piece. Okay, so, yeah, we've got military armor. I'll take it. That should prevent us from taking some more hits. I was hoping for some food there, but I think we'll be okay. And it doesn't look like using, um, melee weapons. At least not the turbo fist that I picked up. It is worth it the... I wonder why that's yellow. We're not, like, running low on power, are we? No? I don't know. Maybe it's, uh, some kind of durability system. Well, one way or another, I think I'm just gonna slug infested. Because you can stun lock them that way. Fertilizer plus. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so it looks like there's a farming system in this game. Like, part of the reason why, um, I'm kind of gung-ho about this, despite the bugs and the issues, is because it does actually seem to have some things that I would like. I'm, I'm a big fan of Fallout's. Uh, like, survival mode and stuff like that, especially with mods. Uh, but the problem is, I'm not a big fan of Fallout's setting. Uh, I don't really like junky post-apocalypse. I like far future post-apocalypse, comparatively. And, um... And it's one of those where I would like to be able to... 
Come on, don't crash. We've got the uh, spinning wheel of doom again. I I'd like to play a game that's far future survival, you know, you get like a little survival nest and you're running out getting supplies and resources and leveling up and getting better gear. And you know, there's farming and stuff, so you're not just totally out of food all the time. Like, I, I like it when I can kind of create a sustainable little survival home.